Ooh, what's going on guys? I'm Jake the Offensive Gamer, and this is Ether One Part 5. Yeah. Uh this is probably gonna be a shorter video. Uh I've got a lot of stuff I'm doing today, so uh, I'm just gonna get one out of the way real quick and all that. Uh, I pre-played a little bit of this, so I have somewhat of an idea of what I'm doing right now. So that's pretty nice. When I was playing this the first time, it really reminded me of Cry of Fear. Like that opening sequence. Yay, presents. Got a drunk in the family. Okay. We have that cry of fear sequence at the very beginning, like in the opener. It's so fucking creepy. Come on. Yay! It's like the most indifferent, like, celebration I've ever heard in my life. Yay! That was weird. I can walk faster now, so that's pretty cool. Yay! So, Fuck it. How, Who cares? How was it in there? I can see from the evidence you gathered that the memory showed You're seven. We strong get it. emotional readings that point to a pleasant memory. Then again, even happy memories can be locked away for good reasons sometimes. There are at least two areas close by that hold memory fragments. These should lead us to more core memories, and hopefully the artifact. From my notes, it seems that you'll need to follow the river further up the valley, and see what we can access there. We best get to move on. I still have yet to uh, figure out how to do all the puzzles, but I, I figured out how to do one. I re the one I started off on, the whole anchor thing, yeah, figured it out, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you do not recall, I, uh, last time around, what I did was I twisted this thing a couple times until the anchor got to uh, an optimal position to where it is at the moment, and uh, that was pretty much where I left it off last time, I had no fucking idea what to do. Evidently, um, this uh, little thing I got right here... It's a handle for this. Who would have thunk? The so yeah. Any memory can be etched in stone. Sure. Let's go with that. And then yeah, you, I just pull down on this fucker. Thank you. New memories can be painted into our lives. Then I pulled down on this, and oh no, nothing. Alright, well then. What do we do? Oh no! No, not you. Fuck off. Perhaps this, because this is separated. Sometimes we find old ones. We forgot we're even there. Oh, I did it! Holy shit! So yeah, now that thing is a thing, and this is a thing. That's a thing as well. Let's read this thing. Note to self, I must ask the blacksmith, the blacksmith to make me a connector for the broken cable. I'd hoped it uh, to have finished my test by now, and I fear that even when the power is back on, that the lamps will still, uh, still won't function correctly. Either way, I must try. I already have another experiment lined up using sound, and I'm eager to press on. So really, that note was more so pertaining to that that whole thing, which has just been solved, so there's no real point in me having read it. Whatever. There's not much I can say about today's session other than sheer joy. We'd set up an easel in the corner of the room by the window, and we both painted together for most of the afternoon. The paintings were remedial, but showed a keen desire to express one's emotions. There's a person in there just screaming to break out. The whole session was recorded, and I believe this is tangible evidence that the therapy is working. I just need to show sustainability to ensure further funding. Of course, full validation and acceptance is still the goal here, but this is fantastic. Okay, so, uh, 
Wait, I think I currently have that in my... No, I don't. Do I? The fuck is it? I think uh, it's probably downstairs, but just to make sure, uh, I want to check. Yep. And, yep. Okay. It's all good. So, now that that's been taken care of, I don't have any idea how to do the other three. Oh, well. Uh, and I'm not going to waste my time on it, because it would just t it would take forever, and I would probably not figure it out, so... Fuck it. Ah, God damn it. I'm trying to keep this uh, series going just because I really do want to finish it, you know? It, it would suck if I didn't. Can I release this thing? I guess not. Oh well. Like I said before, fuck it. And yeah, I think this gate wasn't open before. Now it is. So, that's a thing as well. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's a note over here. And I think there's another one somewhere over there. Uh, Painter's Journal, entry 10 of 10. Dr. Edmonds has asked me to write in here during my therapy sessions and not at home because I haven't been filling out my work uh, or my book when I'm on my own. I told her I did not want to do it anymore, but she insisted that I do because it will help me remember things. I just want to paint and I don't want to write. Colors make it clearer. They make everything clearer for me. Today, I'm going to paint the view from out of the, uh, this window. Then Dr. Edmonds says Jim is going to pick, uh, come and pick up that. Uh, come and pick me up and take me back to the care home. Okay, and there was one other. Where the fuck is it? Bitch. I know it, I know it's here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Entry 3 of 10, going back a little way. Uh, in today's workshop, we worked. Uh, we were asked to paint using a personal life experience. Uh, a personal life experience as inspiration. I struggled to think of anything at first, as I wanted to think about my time in America. But my thoughts kept coming back to Pinwheel. Eventually, I gave up and decided to draw upon an, an event that happened here in the 1960s, something that was traumatic for me and for the rest of the village. The mines, for memory, were dark and claustrophobic, and the men trapped down uh, down there helpless as the water came through the cavern wall. I wish I could remember all of their names, and I hope that today's painting did them all justice. My teacher said it was very good, but a little too dark for her. Well, fuck that bitch. You ask for something artistic, and then you... No, it's a little too dark. No, it's not my style. Fuck you. I don't know why I'm so upset about that. <laughs> it's a fucking... It's a fucking entry in a video game. Calm down. Jesus. Gee, oh, god damn it, it's not even been like 10 minutes. I'm already at like the end of what I had finished before uh, going into this video. That's not good. Well. And we now venture on to Pinwheel Industrial. The area of the mine that you've just entered seems to be outputting a variety of important memories. There also seems to be a strong signal coming from within it that appears to be in line with what we'd expect from the artifact. The item we're after to make you stronger. So yeah, Without this area... Air... It's often the patient's short-term memory that begins to falter first. We can use older memories as a seed to help rebuild and validate our patient's life story. The artifact should also help us to avoid another relapse, whilst allowing us to target the amyloid plaques that cause our patient's brain cells to die in the first place. I'll go ahead and read this first. A gift. I remember coming home one sunny afternoon after I had been attending school to find an odd-shaped uh, parcel on the living room table. My father had recently uh, stopped working at the mine, and my mother had unfortunately left us for both uh, 
left us both for a reason that I never truly knew. I think he wanted me to know that he still loved me regardless of, the, of his situation. My father came downstairs smiling, his eyes a little lost and told me to sit down. He pushed the present towards me and I began to open it. Inside was a tin, uh, Davies, lamp, uh, tin Davies lamp all cleaned up and ready for use. It had, been my father's, it had been my father's from when he had worked in Devlin. I meant, it meant everything to me. Sorry if I'm having a little trouble reading right now. I'm just a little congested and headache and all that, so it's kind of hard to... Fuck it. Doesn't matter. Well, I must say, I'd hoped this case would have been solved by now. I know, I know, I should take some of the responsibility. But I have given you every resource imaginable to complete this restoration. Just remember that all of this funding is lost if you don't do your job effectively and find Fuck that you, artifact. How about that? Where's Fuck you. you. Polished wooden roof. Sixteen years old. You know what that means. Aha! Uh -huh. I gotta get the power going, I guess. But we got that part sorted. No, I gotta get this, yeah. But I don't really know where, uh... What the pressure is supposed to be for this area, so I'm not gonna bother. We're all, well, maybe I'll look for it. It seems that the patient is getting a little agitated. Not to worry, though. They always get worse before they get better. <laughs> With that said, I have been warned about... Well... Pushing these experiments too far. But I feel like I can trust you. You will keep this just between us. Ah. Uh, mill management pressure relocation. Uh, three, three, one, 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 two. Alright, is that this one down here? Hopefully it is. We'll find out in a second. Fuck yeah. Not many people ever saw the inside of that office. And the ones that had weren't around very long to talk about it. This area is where a mill manager would run his operations. He spent most of his time looking down over the industrial area from his office. I researched that an accident here halted all production in the mines for a time. I suggest you keep searching for anything that might be related. Yeah, so this area is not quite as vast as, uh, or doesn't feel like it's quite as vast as the harbor, but it's, it's up there. You know, there's a lot of stuff, you know? And at the moment, I'm currently exploring an area that I haven't done yet, so I'm kind of learning as I'm going along. I did a few things in this area before, but not nothing pertaining to this, to this stuff. So, yeah. But, what's that? What the fuck is that? What? Oh, it's wood. Whatever. Alright. Doesn't look like anything else I can do at the moment in this area. I'm probably wrong, but... Fuck you. I think I recall seeing one of those over here. Maybe I was wrong. Nope, never mind. Alright, well I'm gonna go and take care of the final few things that I know what to, uh, know how to do, and then uh, I'll probably stop the video. Like I said, shorter video, whatever. I was busy. Oh, that felt strange. Alright. What felt strange? Collapse. She saw it fall from the town square, her ears ringing after the de uh, deafening blow. The victory shaft... The victory shaft? I've never heard of that term before. The uh, victory shaft swayed, then uh, began to fall like a pack of cards brushed by a breeze. Thick black smoke erupted into the air. She told me that at the moment, uh, fear had swelled like a balloon in her chest. The victory shaft had fallen and a great accident had occurred in the mine. She feared we were both dead for a brief moment, but I was not there. Uh, it would take her years to overcome this. We had to leave. 
T. Fletcher. Where am I? I'm not even sure where I am anymore. Okay, no, I recognize this. Yeah, I most definitely recognize this. Okay. So, I gotta figure out... What was... I can't remember the numbers. I think they're... Shit, where are they? Uh, go downstairs. I can't remember. Fuck, this isn't good. There's three something something... No, that's not even right. Shit. I think it was 11322. Find out in a second. Oh, there we are. It's not going to get any better. This isn't going to get any easier for anyone. It says here that arsenic was a very useful byproduct of the tin refining process and is still used in many medicines and foods. The miners ground and burnt out any unwanted materials and then exported it for money. But in these quantities, it was extremely lethal. Accidents here were often fatal. Let's find out what happened here. Yeah, alright. Ah, here we go. I've placed three whole years of my life into this research. I have sacrificed so much. Patients with these specific symptoms of dementia and at this stage don't come along often. And to be told that after three years of hard work and waiting that I have only nine days to yield the results that they want. Who the hell do they think they are? It's not my fault. I can only work with the restorers I'm given. Excuse me. Is slower and easier. The savings could be spent on our retirement or living comfortably. One, two. Nah, I don't think that's gonna be fast enough. Might be. It might be. Let's see. Nope. Bucket. Bucket. We'll do it next time. Cause uh. 17 minutes and I gotta get back to work on a few things that I'm doing at the moment. So, we will pick this up later, I guess. So, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and all that. And I will see you guys next time.